All right, good morning. We are at Disney's Coronado Springs here. Uh, just to our right, you can see Grand Destino Tower, but we're not gonna be talking a whole lot about that today. We're gonna focus more on the actual Coronado Springs Resort. The Destino Tower was built uh, a few years ago. As an addition here, uh, we were just able to park. Uh, there's plenty of parking around the uh, main entrance to the lobby and some of the uh, quick serve and things. So we're gonna take you in and uh, let you have a look around here at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. <laughs> All right, so right away as we make our way walking up here, you can kind of see this is where all the big drop-off used to be. Uh, a lot of that has moved more to Grand Destino. But if you look to the left, you'll see you this long stretch of building, and uh, that's uh, where a lot of this convention center area is here. It's considered a convention resort. So uh, let's mosey on inside and uh, see what we can find. You can see we're here this weekend for the springtime surprise. Uh, it's the Run Disney event. Um, you see, you get this fountain right here. Uh, and then this is where the lobby is, or used to be, it kind of still is. They do have people that uh, I believe that still will work here. Maybe not, I don't know. I thought I saw some people here yesterday, uh, some cast members and such, but I don't see any this morning. But it's really just kind of a nice open area to relax and lounge around. So we're going to make our way back to the left. This is kind of where more of the stuff you would want is. And right away, you see they have Panchitos. Uh, it is the gift shop. All right, take a quick look around here. It is a nice size kind of gift shop. It's really open in here compared to some of the other ones. You've got a place to move around, walk around. Um, but yeah, it's your basic gift shop. You see everything that you need, uh, drinks and all that kind of stuff. All your Coronado Springs attire if you want that so then right across the hall is a it's the bakery all right so walking out of panchitos and in that corridor here is kind of the where all the restaurants are at make that nice and easy along with the convention center this is cafe ricks this is one i was just showing you from uh panchitos from inside So as we leave Cafe Rick's and I head further down the hallway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, take a moment and hit that like button for us. And also if you have time, please uh, check out some of the other content and uh, videos that we've done in the past. Uh, if you like them, subscribe and it helps out more than you know. So, uh, but back to the tour here, our next stop is going to be Rick's Sports Bar and Grill. All right, as we make our way around the corner, you'll see this is Rick's Sports Bar and Grill here. Now they do offer mobile ordering, so you can do that from your room and come pick it up to take out. So that's always a good option, nice to have. It also has a lot of your typical sports bar type food here. It's a nice option uh, and an open area because as you can see, they have several TVs for all the sports fans that may want to catch a game while they're visiting Disney World. It's a nice option to have here because a lot of times it can be hard to find a game that you want to watch, uh, especially if it's a big game. Uh, there's not a whole lot of sports bars around or places to eat and watch athletic events. So really nice to have that here. And then right across from that is El Mercado, or El Mercado, El Mercado, whichever, Del Coronado. So this is their quick service. Here's their hours of operation. And then here's just a menu with a few of the options. Therese and I did eat here yesterday. Uh, let's say it wasn't our, our favorite uh, favorite quick service meal we've ever had. This is where you would have your filling stations. It is pretty much your typical quick service style location here. And then of course, as we step out here, take another left, you'll see this is the Maya Grill. This is the other uh, sit down restaurant here in Coronado or at Coronado Springs Resort. And you, they're not open for breakfast. They are open from five to 10 p.m. for dinner. All right, 
Rick's. We're fixing to make our way back down this hallway. As you see, we're past, just past up Rick's. Uh, we're going to uh, Treasure Shopping. So we're going to go find out where she's at. And I think we're going to get us some coffee. All right, so we're back in the main lobby area here. The fountain, Panchitos, and the hallway with the restaurants there. We're going to go out the back. And uh, it's kind of one of my favorite parts of the resort is just the... Uh, the way it's built around a, a lake here, or I guess a pond, whatever you want to call it. As soon as you step outside, you see you have Laguna Bar. Uh, again, it's early in the morning. I say it's early, it's about nine o'clock, so it's not quite open open yet. But uh, we're gonna walk down here and just kinda let you see the views if it was open. They have some places to sit right here once it opens up in the evening time so you can enjoy your drinks and overlook the, the lake. And then of course out there, is three bridges um right next to us over here is one of the three bridges that connects it we'll walk out there for you it's only open for lunch and dinner but it is a place for you to enjoy and kind of overlook the resort you can see the dig site across the way which is the pool um, we'll take you there in a minute and then of course way over there is a uh, kind of a beach area and we're going to show you that as well so here's basically a look at a resort map. Lago Dorado is the name of the, uh, the pond there. We are essentially right here right now. The dig site, which is their pool, is right there. So what you could do to get there is walk there and then cross that bridge, and that's the main entrance to it. Grand Destino is right here, which is right next to us. And uh, like I said, we're not going to show it today. We may show the ground floor of it. Um, but then you have the three distinct sections. You have the cabanas right there. You have ranchos over there. And then you have, you come on around, you have the casitas here. Another thing to note is there are four bus stops here in this resort, and they make their loops around. Uh, there's one at each of the three uh, resorts, or each of the, I'm sorry. There's one at each of the three sections, and then also at the main stop up here by Grand Destino. They do have a running trail laid out here that's right next to the Laguna Bar. Uh, it does trace it. It basically goes right around the, the lake. It is a one mile, or I'm sorry, a .7 mile trail uh, to go around the lake, and then they have a solid strike one mile trail. Um, so yeah, so if you need to get your runs in, there's a running trail for you to do it. It's easily measured. All right, we're gonna zip on over right here to the uh, Grand Destino Tower. This, we're not gonna go inside, but uh, this is the outside area behind it. So you have a nice little area here. Uh, this is again turf, I think, as it yep, looks like turf as opposed to real grass. It's a place to run around and play, sit and relax, enjoy an evening out here, uh, overlooking the lake if you want. Again, the dig site is not far away. If, you're, if you walk out of the Grand Destino, which is the exit right there, walk right across that bridge and you'd be at the dig site, which is again the, pool, the resort's main pool area. I mean, also right over there, they do have oversized uh, checkers and chests. Uh, kind of like to do a Riviera. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna walk this bridge, kind of show you uh, how to get to the, the dig site. All right, we're gonna take this walk over here. It really only takes a couple minutes, not as long as it looks, but we're still gonna speed it up. And uh, of course, to the left, you can still see the Three Bridges restaurant. <laughs> Again, just another morning view looking out across the, the lake or the pond there. And then, of course, that's three bridges right there. That's a restaurant. You can't make reservation in advance. They do have a to-go service. It also is a sit-down restaurant. Uh, we've heard a lot of good things about it. Unfortunately, uh, we could not eat there this time. That was in the plans. We just couldn't do it. And uh, so, yeah, it's connected, obviously, by three bridges. So you can get to it from anywhere uh, in the resort without having too terribly long of a walk to get there. So here's the main entrance to the dig site, which is Coronado Springs' pool, and uh, it's not open yet uh, still because we're early in the morning. Uh, we'll just give you a chance to kind of overlook it and uh, check it out. This pool does include a slide. Uh, it also has a play area for kids, and uh, it, this is the one pool here that does have lifeguards on duty. It also has a, I believe it has a pool bar over there as well. So if you leave the pool area and you take a left, you'll walk into the cabana section, which is the, one of the three sections here at the resort. And the section also has its own smaller pool. But the thing that makes it unique here is uh, that this one has its own beach. 
to go along with it and uh, so we're kind of just walking alongside it right now as you can see it has loungers and hammocks that uh, you can just kind of hang out in and relax and take in some sun on a beautiful morning like this morning or you can just look out over the resort and uh, kind of take in its beauty so this is a ranchos neighborhood here at coronado and our room is right up here at room 7512 if you want to see a tour of the room uh, we have that linked in a separate video below uh, we really like the room location uh, it was close to the parking lot so that was a short walk it is also on the bottom floor we always prefer a bottom floor when we can get one uh, and as you'll see also that it was a short walk to vending and ice, but also it wasn't a very long walk to the smaller, quieter pool that these neighborhoods have. Uh, the pool is pretty simple and it's a nice place to relax. Uh, it is placed in the middle of, I think about three buildings here at the resort. Um, it also does not have a lifeguard on duty. Uh, so it's just a little something extra uh, to be aware of if you have little ones and also this pool is typically open earlier and will stay open a little bit later than the primary pool at the resort the largest pool so uh, here's a quick look at it we're not going to go inside because there's somebody already relaxing but as you can see uh, very simple very nice all right, in just a moment, we're going to walk over to show you the second entrance to the dig site. But one of the things I wanted to mention here, since we're looking at the sign, is the bus stops. Uh, each uh, neighborhood here does have its own bus stop. It is a rather large resort, so the bus makes several stops throughout the resort. I think it's four total, one at each uh, neighborhood, plus the one at the main uh, entrance. While we head over to the dig site here, uh, one of the things I found most impressive in my first day here was the uh, landscaping. I was very impressed. I uh, enjoyed just walking around looking at it. Uh, again, it's a, just a couple minute walk, but uh, we're going to pick this up and get us there quicker. So here we are. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized pool area. Uh, they actually have a map dedicated to it. And uh, so just kind of a quick overview of that before we uh, walk up the pathway here. One of the things I really like about it, uh, I may have said this earlier, but again, it's just kind of the seclusion of the pool area. Um, you can't say this about all the resorts, but it's really kind of off out of the way. You see, you got to kind of walk through some uh, landscaping here. And so even though it's a large area that can hold a bunch of people, uh, the resort can, um, you're not going to see a lot of people walking by the pool area unless they're uh, coming or going to the pool. All right, so that's going to wrap up this tour of uh, Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. If you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll be more than happy to try to answer those the best that we can. Uh, if you enjoy the content, uh, please take a moment to like and subscribe. We really enjoy making these videos for you guys. And uh, so, yeah, so let us know what you think. And uh, if there's anything else or a resort you'd like to see, let us know. We'll put it on the list and uh, try to get to it. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.